Today we're cooking broccoli's albino cousin, the cauliflower, or the cauliflower, as they say in French. Actually, I don't think that's what they call it in French. It's roast. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna grate some garlic. I have a head of garlic and we're just gonna... One. Two. This is so difficult. Three, dang it. Four. I'm telling you, I maintain my my notion that you can use garlic as confetti. Ah! Damn it. I had to drop the bottle of hot sauce. There's just green stuff everywhere. Ah! Looks like the guy from Ghostbusters got murdered. What was his name? Slimester? Slime? Slimer? Here we have our clove of garlic. We're gonna go ahead and take the peel off. What we're actually gonna do is we're gonna grate it to this big old jar. What we're gonna do is make it really nice and thin. And when you smash it up, you get Allison. This is not very fruitful. So we're just gonna smash it. This is a double, double garlic. All right, we'll need that one. Just sprinkle some salt on here. Allow us to smash it, make a paste out of it, a little bit better. Boom. So we have that. Bring this in here. Add some salt, a little more salt, olive oil. Use good quality olive oil. Some Extra virgin olive oil type of stuff. We need some pepper. I like pepper. Let's put this aside for the time being. Pull out this beauty. And get some cauliflower. Now you can use an actual head of cauliflower, but, but I picked it up at the store. Yeah. This is what it is. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut these so they lay flat on our Parchment lined baking sheet. They look beautiful. Little fractal clusters of cheese curds, which is also a nickname for cauliflower if you didn't know, or like cauliflower. Curds. Let's cut these bits. Really kind of looks like a brain. And as we cut them, I put them in olive oil, garlic. Now, if you really want to get fancy, you can cut really thin slices like this. Seen it with something like that. It looks like a little self standing tree. Doesn't that look cute? It's a little cauliflower forest. Got a bush, got another bush. So, what's gonna happen to these? These are gonna roast really nice and well. So, let's bring this back in here and let's stir this with a spoon. Or spatula. I'll just do it really kind of carefully because broccoli or broccoli. albino broccoli is kind of a little brittle sometimes, but you don't have to be super gentle with it. Yeah, garlic goodness. I'm just kind of toss it till you see it. They're all kind of a nice coating on them. Put this aside and bring our sheet in. I'm just gonna lay it flat. Some tweezers. So one of the reasons I like to roast cauliflower instead of steam it or boil it is because, well, if you steam it or boil it, it smells like a bear's butt. So we're gonna do with the rest of what's in here, the oil. We can cook some more cauliflower, but I'm just gonna go ahead and pour it over our existing cauliflower. Nice little extra garlicky goodness. Yes, dominating. Be wasteful not to use it. I feel like an artiste. I am painting on my candles. No, no. All right, so we have this. This is gonna go into a 450 degree oven for anywhere between 30 and 40 minutes. And afterwards, we're gonna take it out and we're gonna add some Parmesan cheese. Should probably preheat my oven before I 
put it in the oven. And there's a reason I don't preheat the oven is because it's, it's, it's loud. So it's not because I forget. Well, sometimes it's because I forget. So while the oven is preheated and heating up, same thing. I have some Parmesan cheese here. We're gonna need about a half a cup. So I'm just using a silicon mat here that I bought for the oven. It's gonna serve as double duty. We're just gonna grate about a half a cup, like I said. That's good. And with the power of video, the cauliflower is done. So let's take a look. Ooh, it's hot. Hit a snap, crackle, pop. We're basically just gonna sprinkle some Parmesan cheese on top. Feel free to be generous. As you can see, the cauliflower shrinks quite a bit. We could have fit a little bit more in here, but we want to get a nice crisp color. So, I did. Put this back into the oven for five minutes. Let this melt. Oh man, look at that. That looks fantastic. Ooh. Tender, get crunchy, smooth. This would go really well with like a steak, and say, or a big piece of meat. Really good. Try their sesame, black tie kitchen. Like, com. Tag me on Instagram photos, black tie kitchen. Let me know how it turned out for you. Let me know if you do something different. Like, Linda, I know you like that butter. Thanks for the recipe. But this, this is fantastic. Try it. Let me know how it turns out for you. And until next time, remember stay hungry and uh, eat some albino broccoli. The cauliflower.